What up, peeps? Yo, welcome to a giant Japanese package unboxing. This is the biggest one we've ever done. This is going to be a long video, so grab a snack. This is uh, seven full-size boxes from them. And before we get started and show you guys what's in here, um, the reason that we made this many purchases and are importing this much stuff from Japan is specifically for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo so that we have this awesome stuff to sell. So not all of this stuff is going to be available on our website right now. Some of it will be, but a lot of it we are saving for the convention. So just keep that in mind. If it's something that we've had in stock a bunch of times, it's probably gonna be available. But if it's a brand new item we've never had, we're probably saving that. So let's just jump into it. Yeah. Got these uh, Monster Hunter uh, figurines. Pretty cool. Yeah, several of these in stock already. Uh, looks like my box here is a bunch of controllers. We have white PS2. Got two red Wii remotes. We have clear PS2, which this color did not come out in North America. We got a clear yellow PS2 controller. We have standard black and the midnight blue, which is different from the ocean blue that we got here in the US. It's much darker. Two of the, I don't know, those are these different? They're different. Okay, one of these is like one a those... blue green and one's a green, a more green green. Oh, that's a PS1 controller. Okay, that's PS1 that's... green. This is like a blue green PS2. We also have a clear red PS2 controller, also Japanese exclusive color. Clear back. Clear black Dreamcast controller. Oh, you're going with Dreamcast? Then we have a clear blue. What? <laughs> we got uh, this really never seen uh, Xbox controller this color. We have baby blue Xbox controller. Yeah, I don't know if that color came out here or not, but I saw it and I was like, that's a really cool looking color. We have clear, uh, I think it's, what was this called? Like passion pink or something? Like we have a clear that. pink and a clear black VMU for the Dreamcast. Oh. The pink one was also Japanese exclusive. Oh, dang. Is this... In the packaging. This is like brand new, basically. Clear blue Dreamcast VMU. Oh, dang. To match that, clear blue Dreamcast controller in the oh, box. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Sometimes we don't know if they come with the packaging or not. That's why we get excited when something has the original box or something like that. We have a Wii component cable. Yeah. And I have a bunch of N64 controllers in here. Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> we have two of the clear blue, clear white N64 controllers. Brand new factory sealed PS1? <laughs> uh, yeah. PS1 memory card. We have two green N64 controllers. We really needed N64 controllers. We were just talking about this yesterday. Yeah. We have two red N64 controllers. Two silver PS2 memory cards. Two yellow N64 controllers. All official, of course. Bunch of the Wii Classic Pro controllers in black. So <laughs> many of those. We have a PlayStation 2 component cable. I actually bought those component cables to sell on eBay because the the Japanese ones are the same as the North American ones and they're pretty cheap, but now that they have the packaging, or at least that one, might have to sell it in here. Is this PS1? Yeah. Clear black, slightly clear black uh, PS1 controller. We have the Game Boy Link cable. This is the one that we need for the Game Boy printer, but it came in the box. <laughs> We also have the Game Boy Advance Link cable in the box. We got the Sega Saturn data backup things. We have a GameCube to Game Boy Advance Link cable. I usually get those to sell on Amazon because the prices are ridiculously high. We got a one singular 64 controller pack. I have another Game Boy Link cable in the box. And then Four PS1 memory cards, two clear red and two clear orange. Those colors did not come out here for PS1. And then the last thing in my first box is this little, I got this for myself, but this is a Mario pin, Club Nintendo. 
I have a pretty big video game related pin collection, so that's cool and it was cheap. Got the Smash Wii U GameCube controller. Got a bunch of bubble wrap. And then I believe these are two, yeah, these are two of the Wii U Pro controllers. They always come really nice from the paint, so awesome. Okay, there's a ton of controllers in this box as well. We have two Emerald GameCube controllers. Our GameCube controllers, we can never keep in stock, so. Two in the box, Dang. white GameCube controllers. Well, I guess I'll go along with that theme. We have two Indigo GameCube controllers in the box. Nice. Oh, two different boxes. What? Now I need the variant. What? Got a clear green Dreamcast controller in the box. We have another Wii component cable, but this one is in the box. And we have three of these Wii Plastic Pro controllers, but these are the white ones and they're in the box. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Super Famicom controllers. <laughs> All right, we got these um, PS1 memory card or PS2 memory card holders. Probably hold both, but they're Biohazard, Resident Evil. Yeah, we've had the Final Fantasy ones in a couple times. Uh, one of those is definitely yellowed. Right. Um, are these, is it the packaging or is it the actual case? Though? I don't know, but we've had Weird. PS1 memory card holders and they're super cool. So when I saw these Biohazard ones, which is, you know, Resident Evil. Just the packaging. <laughs> but yeah, I thought they were super cool. We have a couple local customers who are really, really into collecting Resident Evil stuff. And so I'm I'm keeping an eye out for stuff that we don't have or we haven't had before. More controllers in here. We have another clear PS2 controller. We have an Indigo GameCube controller. We have two orange GameCube controllers. Nice. Wii Pro controller in white. Two gray N64 controllers and one of the clear red, clear white N64 controllers. Yeah, this is a rechargeable. What is this? There's no battery pack for it. Oh, I didn't come with the box. Um, chargeable battery pack for the Wonder Swan, but there is no thing to charge it. It needs <laughs> a, some type of pr proprietary charger. That's unfortunate. Looks like it's in here somewhere. We have another Spice Orange GameCube controller. Oh my god, there's more controllers. Another clear PS2 controller and another Emerald GameCube controller. This, you're hoping, was going to come in the big box, but it is this weird um, game for the DS that turns your entire DS into a mouse, like a computer mouse. Got a laser down there. And so you slide your whole DS around to play the game. Super interesting and weird accessory, but pretty awesome. There's some something really. What? what? No cartridge. There's no fucking cartridge. <laughs> what the hell? No cursing. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna remember to bleep that too, because this is like gonna be an hour long video. Okay, 10 minutes 42. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember. God dang it. You guys get a, a free one this time. <laughs> we'll grab that one. We have some of the Pokemon. Oh, there's another one. What? Some of the Pokemon N64 controllers, one, two of each color, I mean. I almost said one of each. And then we have a bunch of Hori mini pads for the N64. Two of the clear blue, clear white ones. I wanted one of these for myself. The clear white. And then also a green and a red. But then, Adam. What? We got three of them in the box. We have black. Clear red and clear white, which they put on upside down, and yellow. That's awesome. Those are so cool. Okay. We've never gotten one in the box. I kind of want those. <laughs> if you don't see those at our booth, <laughs> don't be mad at me. This is what I need. Space squash, complete for Virtual Boy. Super awesome. A couple more Virtual Boy games. We have two complete Jack Bros. Japanese version, obviously. But you can play the game without 
like with the Japanese text. There's not like much text. Yeah, so. Virtual Boy is completely region free, so you can play all the Japanese games, and I think most of them don't have a lot of text. I mean, it's kind of a weird 3D gimmicky system. It's not not a lot of RPGs. Yeah. All right, we got the this is for Game Boy Wars, I believe. It's the one that comes in the tin. It's a Game Boy game, and in here with the manual and the cartridge in this little band-aid tin. <laughs> Pretty awesome. We then have Mother 1 and 2 and then two copies of Mother 3 for Game Boy Advance. Klonoa on the PS1, but Japanese copy, so it's like one-tenth of the price or less than that. But cool for someone who doesn't want to buy the $500 copy. We have a couple N64 expansion packs in the box. Are they actually in there though? Last time one of them was empty. I think they sent the memory cards or the things separate from the box last time, but we have some boxed Chrono Triggers for the Super Famicom. And then, oh, there's a third one. And then we have Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy V in the box. It's got Mother. And what is this, like, home? Or Which home? home? Can I see the front? That is Sweet Home. Sweet Home. One of the first, like, survival horror type games. Oh, we have another Final Fantasy V. And we're just setting up our Japanese import glass case over there. So with these, it's going to be overflowed. We have Pokemon Green complete in box, which is awesome. Also, Emerald. And then for the Famicom Disk System, we have 3D Hot Rally, which is kind of covered by that sticker there, but it's got Mario and Luigi on the front, which is why I bought it. Look, okay, this is a Japanese exclusive color. That is a beautiful color. I've never seen a 3DS in this color. It is not aqua blue. It's not Cosmo blue. It is this, this is like a weird, like, royal yeah, there, teal blue there's almost. no gradient most of the original 3ds had a gradient but this is just one color um it looks similar to the launch aqua blue but it's definitely it's brighter a little different yeah that's beautiful <laughs> yeah it's awesome we were planning to mod these just to um make it so they're not region locked we ordered a couple of the 3ds's from japan which are region locked which is dumb because it's the it's like the first Nintendo handheld that is region locked, right? Yeah. Everything going back to the original Game Boy is region free. Yeah. We have the Famicom Nintendo Online controllers. Nice. They came with everything from Japan comes in like bagged and like taped up and all nice. We're probably just gonna leave it like this because it looks so freaking good. Yeah. Nice. And then they always send little memory cards and Game Boy games in these like jewel case things. So we have Pokemon Emerald. We have a bunch of Wonder Swan games, which I'm not gonna know the Detective Conan. I can read that one. It says it has English on it. Um, Tango. We just got a bunch of Super Famicom or for uh, Wonder Swan games because we have consoles, and it's cool to have a little, you know, a nice little selection. That was Hunter Hunter. That one's covered by a sticker. That one's Hunter Hunter. Final Fantasy One. Final Fantasy II, uh, One Piece, another One Piece, and another One Piece, but they're all three of those One Pieces are different games. Another one of those rechargeable battery packs with no charger. <laughs> Hopefully we can find these from this place, like the charger part, because it's unfortunate. We have more Wonder Swan games. Klonoa. Ooh. And why did they put the sticker right over the thing? Inuyasha. And I think this is Terrors 2. It's got the manual with it. And then, of course, covered again. Final Fantasy 2 and 5? Or wait, no, it's not 1. <laughs> um, in the box. Gunpei and Digimon. Gunpei is Ryan's favorite. Oh, a third one of the Wonder Swan batteries. <laughs> we have a little uh, Mother 2 figure. I think her name's Paula. Paula. This one looks cool. This is more of an RPG. 
Battlegate Dark Eyes, complete for Wonder Swan color. We have a Game Boy Advance Link cable in the box this time. There's so much good stuff. A horror game called Terrors on the Wonder Swan. Some more Famicom, Super Famicom games, complete in box. These are Fire Emblem ones. We have three of this Gundam game for Wonder Swan. We have two pocket stations. We have the white one and a clear one nice. in the box. Which is, if you don't know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a Dreamcast uh, VMU, but it's a Japanese exclusive PlayStation one. What is this? Um, I don't know. TNE <laughs> stuff. Some little boy game. Ooh, it's even got, it's got the original foam thing, nice. but this is the Mario dock for the Switch. This is just a dock, and we thought it'd be cool to have some extra docks available for sale, and special edition ones were even cooler. So we got the red one, put it back in this little foam thing. And we are running low on these, we only have one left, but have a Poke Watch Walker which is the same as the US one. Um, it might pop up in Japan if you turn it on, but right when you connect it to a North American game, it'll change the language to English on here too. We have another dock here, which also came with the little cover. And this one is, that's the Monster Hunter Rise one. Oh. Most game stores don't have extra docks, which is why I thought it'd be cool to get these. People do ask for them, but also, if, if they do have an extra dock, it's usually not a special edition one. Yeah. Usually it's just gonna be a standard black one, so this is cool. We got two of these link cables. I believe these ones do work on the uh, Game Boy printer as well. These are the Game Boy Color shaped ones. Huge bag here of Famicom games. Uh, I really wanted to get these for the store because I think they're super cool and Japan exclusive. The um, Super Game Boy 2. This one adds link cable capability to the games, which is really awesome. Oh. And they're also Papers. a uh, clear blue, which looks really, really cool. Oh, what? We have a red nunchuck, but it's in the Wii U packaging. <laughs> That's pretty cool. First time we've gotten an Unchuck like that in the box from them. Okay, Super Famicom. We have some Fire Emblem games. We also have some Dragon Ball Z games. And another Dragon Ball. And then regular Famicom. I think this says Just Breed. Weird, like taller cartridge, a couple of those. We have some Dragon Ball ones. And uh, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, which is very expensive in the US, so that's cool. So just, just a heads up on the Super Game Boy 2, um, most of them, I don't know if this is the actual color it came out of, but they look like they're slightly yellowed compared to the box art at least. Maybe not, maybe that's how it came, but it still looks super cool. We have, for the Famicom, we have Popeye and Donkey Kong 3, and Kid Dracula, and Fire Emblem. And then these two, I, yeah, these are Devil World. And then a couple more Dragon Balls, another Fire Emblem, and another Kid Dracula. Oh, Fire Emblem's backwards. Wow, this is cool. We have a Chrono Trigger original soundtrack revival disc, but look how big this case is. Wow. This is like way bigger than a regular case. This is like a regular CD case. And it, has, it says Blu-ray on there too, so I don't know, maybe there's like some sort of DVD yeah. kind of thing with it. It's very clean. We got two Game Boy Colors. One of them is a just regular clear. Which is that one exclusive? Japanese exclusive, yeah. Nice. We got another one of these uh, Nino Kuni DS special edition games. We have a few of these we're holding on to. We might put might put one or two of them in the system since we have three of them now. 
This one for me, so I'm triggering my loose copy. Um, this is called X. It is made by the developers who made Star Fox. And there's a sequel to this on DSiWare, which is also on the 3DS eShop, which is closing uh, early next year, called Xscape. And this is the original um, X. So it's uh, Vertex graphics, like some of the other, like, what is it, Star Fox? Star Fox and Stunt Race FX. Yeah, but super cool and pretty fun as well. And then we have a bunch of these Famicom Mini Game Boy Advance games, which are, I mean, the packaging is amazing. Yeah, these things are so cool. So we have Wrecking Crew. Look at it, it's just beautiful. It says the name on the side here. Oh. Super Mario Bros. Balloon Fight. We got uh, Balloon Fight as well. And Mappy, I'm not sure what this one is. Okay, this one's all in Japanese even on the side, so I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like maybe a double pack. That one's like a disc system version, but they're all, the cartridges, I don't know if the cartridges on... I think the cartridges are all just regular Game Boy Advance games. Well, no, no, but the, the these ones from the disc system, the cartridges are yellow themselves. Mm. I'm not sure, I don't think the Famicom Mini ones are, but the disc ones are. Dr. Mario. I don't know what this one is, but it's a Konami game. It's also in Japanese. Uh, Clue Clue Land. It's so cool though, because it's like a, Another a miniature, Mario. miniature box <laughs> of the actual box. Oh no, okay, that's cool. So the Famicom mi uh, mini ones are uh, the Famicom colors. That is really cool. But the disc ones will be all yellow. Then we have a little Club Nintendo, like, 3DS pouch, a little blue one. We have a Rayquaza tote bag. I'm going to open this real quick because you can't really see it. It's not really a tote bag. It's like one of those weird backpack things, but it's a Rayquaza one. This has got the Club Nintendo pin set, which is uh, different in Japan. This one has, like, different colors than the one that came out in the U.S. It's a lot thinner than the one. And we have Game & Watch Collection 1 and 2 nice. for DS. Yeah, four copies of Nights into Dreams. Christmas Nights. Christmas Nights and Dreams for Sega Saturn, which is region 3. The Saturn is not, but um, with the with like an ST key or a, a RAM cartridge or whatever, then uh, you just pop that in the back, you can play Japanese games on North American Saturn, so it's pretty easy. Nice. We have a boxed Pokemon Crystal. Japanese version. It's got a boxed Wonder Swamp. This is the non-color version. And then what? What are those? I don't know what these are. I was gonna ask you. What are these? So, okay. I didn't buy anything that I didn't know what it was. So some of you guys are gonna have to help us out because I probably thought that these were Famicom games. And I mean, I guess maybe they are, but I don't think these are plug in. <laughs> Really tiny Dragon Ball Z cartridges. Yeah, like what are those? If you know what these are, please let us know. <laughs> I thought that I just bought Dragon Ball stuff for Famicom and Super Famicom, so... I don't know. Where's another Famicom game? I wanna... No, definitely, definitely wouldn't fit. <laughs> if you guys know what console these are for, I guess, um, let us know. I can do the Google Translate thing on the cover and maybe try to read something, but... I don't, I have no idea what those are. That's weird. I think it's so cool. It's, it's super minty as well. It's the original soundtrack for Link's Awakening, the remake. Heck yeah. And it's like, there's two CD things in there. I have one of those and, at home. Yeah, it's like mint. We have three more pocket stations, one more white and two more clear without the packaging. And then some more of these little earthbound, like, charm things. We have two more of the Paula ones, and then we have another figure, which is Pooh. Adam loves Pooh. Another one of the japan exclusive white game controllers. They also have a longer cable. And then some new soundtracks. We have two of the Rhapsody Musical Adventure original soundtracks. We got the Kid Icarus one. 
which is really cool. And last time it came with the AR cards. I'm not sure this one does, probably does, but really awesome. Hmm. This is a North American soundtrack for Fable. <laughs> it's all in English. And then also Final Fantasy III soundtrack. Final, whoop, disc is falling out. Final Fantasy IV original sound version. This is a Chrono Trigger. Pretty sure this is a Chrono Trigger soundtrack. We've had it before. It's in like a Digipack style case. And then Final Fantasy V two disc original soundtrack with the uh, cardboard slipcover case. You want me to keep going? Yeah. Well, I gotta open these. <laughs> we got some more handhelds here. First, we have a black Game Boy Pocket. We need to get a Game Boy Light one of these days. We've never had one in stock. I grabbed one from this place. It's pretty cool. Phone's ringing, but we're not open. Let me get that. <clears throat> so I'll show you this before we show you the rest of the handhelds, but we got a Zelda Hyrule Warriors uh, treasure box. This is the Wii U one or 3DS one? I I think that, that that looks like the 3DS, and I think, I thought that the Wii one was bigger, but I mean, if it's not sealed, you can open it. There's a little tape covering it, but <clears throat> comes with lots of extra goodies and cool things from Zelda and stuff. So. Let me see. I have both of them at home. That's definitely not the original tape I'm cutting. It's <laughs> like scotch tape. Oh, it's taped on the bottom. Why would they do that? This poor box. This is the Wii U version. So it's got a scarf, an art book. It's got some other stuff in it. I'm not gonna take it all out. <laughs> There's too much. But the scarf is awesome. And then last is just handheld consoles. These are all 3DSs. Well, oh yeah, all 3DSs. And they are all very minty. Well, my last one's not a 3DS. <laughs> we get 3DSs trading here a lot, but they're all, usually they oh, all scratched up and stuff. Dang. This is like one of the cleanest Game Boy Pockets I've ever seen, and this is cool because it's a Japanese exclusive one. It's modeled after the colors of the original Game Boy. And that screen is like literally flawless. It looks brand new. The sticker on the back has some like wrinkles and stuff, so obviously it's not, you know, not new, but the screen looks absolutely perfect. The black one does not. This one, that is surprising. <laughs> Even right. for a Japanese console. We got two original 3DSs, <clears throat> the Kingdom Hearts one, and the Ceramic White. Um, I can't remember if this one came out. I think they both came out in the US. I think this was like a super limited thing. I don't remember, uh, but very, very pretty, very clean. No scratching like at all on the outside. A lot of the original 3DSs will be like cracked too because the material they use was weird. And then two of the regular 3DS XL. Oh, someone's coming in. Animal Crossing and Pink. These are very, very clean, very cool. Again, we're gonna try to mod these. Modding them is super easy and it makes it region free. Um, so, yeah. All right, well, that's it. That's all of them. Thank you guys for watching. Who's that? Yeah. Who's that right there? Hi. <laughs> Thank you guys going? for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Peace.